DGDG is well known for having one of the largest selections of mainstream EVs in the Bay Area. Like from Volkswagen. Or Hyundai. Or even Audi. And Genesis. If you are looking to take a leap into luxury, we are comparing the 2023 Genesis Electrified GV70 to the 2024 Audi Q8 e-tron. Now the Q8 e-tron is actually not a new model. It's heavily updated from the previous e-tron model that's been on sale for a few years now. Now the Q8 e-tron was renamed and heavily updated with an all new powertrain in order to allow for more e-tron models in Audi's SUV lineup. Today we have the premium plus trim of the Q8 e-tron, which starts at $78,800. For a little bit less money, a few thousand less, you can get a premium trim. For a few thousand more, you can get the prestige trim. But this was closest in price to the GV70 that Tanya is reviewing. This is Glacier White Metallic, which is one of the many colors of the German rainbow from white to gray to black that you can choose from. But all joking aside, you can actually choose from a dark blue and a brown as well. Our electrified GV70 is the advanced all-wheel drive trim, which happens to be the only trim available. However, ours is equipped with the prestige package, making this fully loaded. This is in Cardiff green with an obsidian black interior, which is a beautiful pairing, just like red wine and steak. <laughs> and this has a starting MSRP of $65,850. And even as tested, still has a lower MSRP than the Q8 e-tron. So like I mentioned, it wasn't just a rename, it was also a heavy refresh. And the biggest part of that refresh was to the powertrain. There's an all new battery that gives the Q8 e-tron up to 285 miles of EPA rated range, which is about 50 more miles than the electrified GV70. It also has 402 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque. That allows it to go zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds, and it can actually tow up to 4,000 pounds, which is pretty impressive. Just like the Audi, this is standard with a dual motor all-wheel drive, producing 429 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, making it faster than the Q8 e-tron, getting you from zero to 60 in just under four seconds. It does have less range, maxing out at 236 miles of range, of course, totally dependent on your driving habits, your region braking, your driving modes. There's so many things that go into your um, total range here. And this is capable of towing up to 3,500 pounds. Out here at Modesto, we have a lot of bugs. So one thing that I love about the Audi is that I don't have to touch the dead bugs on the front of my car to open the charge port, which is located right here on the front fender. Speaking of charging, the Q8 e-tron gets a heavily updated charging system, so it'll now DC fast charge at 170 kilowatts from 10% to 80% in just over 30 minutes. Just like the Genesis, plan to charge it overnight if you're using a level two charger in your garage. You know, a little bug guts never hurt nobody. <laughs> I actually really love the concealed design of the charge port door right up front. It's right here, it's like magic. With a DC fast charger, you can go from 10 to 80% in as low as 18 minutes. Um, with that being said, true to what Nick said is you will need to plan on charging this overnight with a level two charger at home. So the Q8 e-tron got an exterior refresh, starting with the front, brand new two-dimensional Audi rings, which also hides the driver assistance system sensors. It also has matrix design headlights and available digital matrix design headlights on the prestige trim, which actually shut off parts of the high beams as oncoming cars approach. It's actually new to the US market starting in 2024. The single frame grille also comes lit on the Prestige model. There's actually an LED light bar that runs across the top here. Coming around the side, 20 inch wheels are standard, but you can also opt for 21 inch wheels with the Prestige trim, or you can get the black optics package, which comes with 21 inch wheels and blacks out all of this metal trim on the side of the car. The neat thing about the Q8 e-tron is there's also a second sport back body style available, which gives you more of a coupe appearance. And coming later this year, you can get an SQ8, which offers up to 492 horsepower. The electrified GV70 still has a G matrix design grille, much like its gas powered brother. Rather, it's a closed off grill because it doesn't need one, but it's still that really pretty iconic Genesis design. Same thing with our LED headlights here as well. Another really funny little 
like feature or just design note that I noticed was on the hood on both sides. It like overhangs a little bit and it reminds me of like fangs, like a vampire. Like one could say that it has a bite. Uh -huh. And then moving on down this side with the prestige package, you will get upgraded to 20 inch wheels. And you'll notice behind those are white brake calipers, which is so unique. It really pops behind those wheels and the Cardiff green paint. And then moving more down the side, there's still really pretty chrome trim all around your windows, down at the bottom there. Same thing in your door handles. And it also still has a very sporty, it's not a true coupe-like SUV, but it is sloped, especially with this line here for your rear corner mirror. So it still looks really sporty. One really cool feature on the Electrify GD70 that's standard is Remote Smart Park Assist. And that's gonna allow you to move your car in and out of those teeny tiny parking spaces so that you're not like trying to like get into your car all like trying to not scratch the other one. So we love that. It just makes getting in and out so much easier. Now let's take a look at the cargo space. Just like Nick said, this is gonna be totally equal to the Q8 e-tron. Behind the second row, you'll get um, 28 and a half cubic feet of space. And with that second row folded flat, upwards of 60 cubic feet of space. The one thing that makes this cargo area stand out is that Genesis offers the vehicle to load charging, meaning you can power or charge other items like a grill, you can charge an e-bike, and that's all accessed with a plug outlet right here. Um, I also love that it's so easy to fold your second row flat with some handles on the inside. This also has a nice little cargo cover that hooks on really simply to um, conceal any of your belongings in the back. Just like the electrified GV70, the Q8 e-tron offers 28 and a half cubic feet of cargo space in the back. But because of the wagon-like profile, it's actually super deep, even with the rear seats up. So we're inside the Q8 e-tron, and it's exactly what you'd expect for an Audi. If you've been in a modern Audi before, you'll feel super comfortable getting in this cabin. The build quality is amazing, the materials are amazing. It has a Bang & Olufsen sound system, acoustic glass, panoramic sunroof, the ride with the air suspension is top notch, and it's just a great place to be. A few features that really stand out in the electrified GV70 in comparison to the Audi are fingerprint authentication. So traditionally where your push to start would be, right here there is um, a fingerprint reader, so you don't even need your key to turn the car on. And so once you get it going this way, then you can turn it on, and that's so unique. Another really cool feature is the 3D gauge cluster, which is only available with the Prestige package. And it's just visually really interesting it, like it's totally 3D and I hope that the camera is able to pick that up for you because it's it's so unique and you also have like just huge displays here as well as a heads-up display with the prestige package the other really cool feature is the boost button on the steering wheel and that's what's gonna help you get that zero to 60 in like four ish seconds so that's gonna give you 10 seconds of maximum performance when you push it and then you just pedal to the metal and pass all of the cars on your commute a few other features that are like wonderful with the prestige is the quilted seats the quilted napa leather seats they're both heated and ventilated and the ventilation I can tell you works like really quickly and really well because I'm using it right now because it's super hot um, and that might come in handy for you where you live. You also have a microfiber suede headliner so it's really nice and soft. Also another upgrade that's coming with that prestige package. Um, a really cool wireless charging pocket for your phone right down here. There's also um, a USB, um, a two USB-A inputs for more charging for your, your passengers. Um, and then I also just have to mention the elephant in the room, the most glamorous, sparkly elephant that ever lived. <laughs> They have a really solid size cup holders because it fits my big old water bottle. I just really appreciate that.
So who is the Q8 e-tron for? If you're looking for the tried and true look and feel of an Audi, with the benefits of an EV powertrain, but you're not quite ready to drive a spaceship yet, this is the car for you. And the Electrify GV70 is a great option for those looking for luxurious features and cool tech at a lower cost. And it's coming from a cool new brand. Now we realize that EVs aren't for everybody just yet. So both of these models actually offer gas powered counterparts as well. Like this twin turbo V6 with 375 horsepower. Or the RSQ8, twin turbo V8, 590 horsepower. Nick, you're just showing off. We'd like to give a big shout out to Genesis of Stevens Creek. And Audi Modesto. For hooking it up with today's rides. Thanks. Thanks.